The dot-com bubble was a period of rapid growth and speculation in the technology industry during the late 1990s and early 2000s. It was a time of great excitement and optimism, as investors poured billions of dollars into internet-based companies, hoping to cash in on the next big thing. But as we'll see, this technological revolution was not without its pitfalls. In the early days of the internet, companies like Amazon, Google, and Yahoo were just starting to gain traction. These companies were pioneers in the field of e-commerce, search engines, and online advertising, respectively. They were the first to realize the potential of the internet as a platform for commerce and communication. But as the internet grew in popularity, so did the number of dot-com startups. Many of these companies were founded on little more than a good idea and a catchy name. They had no clear business model, no revenue, and no plan for profitability. Yet investors were eager to get in on the ground floor of the next big thing. The dot-com bubble was fueled by a combination of hype, speculation, and greed. Investors were willing to overlook the lack of profitability in these companies, betting that they would eventually become profitable as the internet continued to grow. The Nasdaq Stock Exchange, which was home to many of these dot-com companies, saw its value skyrocket during this period. In March of 2000, the Nasdaq reached an all-time high of 5,048.62. But as we'll see in the next segment, this rapid growth was not sustainable, and the bubble was about to burst. By the end of 2000, the dot-com bubble had burst. Many of the companies that had been the darlings of Wall Street just a few months earlier were now bankrupt. The Nasdaq had lost more than 50% of its value, and investors had lost billions of dollars. The dot-com crash was a wake-up call for investors and entrepreneurs alike. It showed that the internet was not a magic bullet that could make any company profitable. It also showed that investors needed to be more discerning in their investments, and that companies needed to have a clear path to profitability. But not all companies were doomed to fail. Companies like Amazon and Google, which had solid business models and a clear path to profitability, were able to weather the storm and emerge as dominant players in their respective industries. The dot-com crash also paved the way for a new wave of internet companies, including social media giants like Facebook and Twitter. These companies were able to learn from the mistakes of their predecessors and build sustainable business models that could withstand the ups and downs of the market. Today, the technology industry is stronger than ever. Big tech companies like Amazon, Google, and Facebook continue to dominate the market, while new technologies like artificial intelligence and blockchain are poised to revolutionize the way we live and work. The future of technology is full of exciting possibilities, from virtual reality to space exploration. But as we move forward, it's important to remember the lessons of the dot-com bubble and build sustainable businesses that can weather the ups and downs of the market. The dot-com bubble was a painful lesson for investors and entrepreneurs alike but it also provided valuable insights into the nature of the technology industry and the pitfalls of investing in new and untested technologies. One of the key lessons of the dot-com bubble was the importance of having a clear business model and a path to profitability. Many of the companies that failed during the dot-com crash were simply unable to generate revenue or turn a profit despite their lofty valuations. Another lesson of the dot-com bubble was the importance of staying focused on the customer. Many of the companies that failed during the dot-com crash were more focused on hype and speculation than on delivering value to their customers. Successful companies like Amazon and Zappos have shown that by putting the customer first, you can build a loyal customer base and drive sustainable growth. Finally, the dot-com bubble showed the importance of due diligence and careful investing. Investors need to be able to separate hype from reality and make informed decisions based on sound financial analysis. Today, the technology industry is supported by a robust ecosystem of venture capital and angel investing. These investors are able to provide the funding and support that new companies need to succeed, while also providing valuable guidance and mentorship. By learning from the lessons of the dot-com bubble, today's startups are better equipped to build sustainable businesses that can weather the ups and downs of the market. The dot-com bubble had a profound impact on the technology industry and the broader economy. It changed the way investors and entrepreneurs approached new technologies, and it paved the way for a new era of innovation and growth. The dot-com bubble had a significant impact on the stock market and the broader economy. The crash wiped out billions of dollars in wealth and led to a recession that lasted for several years. But the dot-com bubble also had a lasting impact on the technology industry. It showed that the internet was not a magic bullet that could make any company profitable, and it forced investors and entrepreneurs to be more discerning in their investments. The dot-com bubble also paved the way for a new wave of innovation and growth. Companies like Facebook, Twitter, and Amazon were able to build sustainable businesses that have transformed the way we live and work. The dot-com bubble also had a significant impact on the startup ecosystem. It led to a renewed focus on building sustainable businesses that can generate revenue and turn a profit, rather than simply chasing the next big thing. Today, 
investors are more cautious when it comes to investing in new technologies. They are more focused on due diligence and careful analysis, and they are more likely to invest in companies that have a clear path to profitability. As we look to the future, it's clear that the impact of the dot-com bubble will continue to be felt for years to come. But with new breakthroughs and innovations on the horizon, the technology industry is poised for even greater growth and transformation in the years ahead. The dot-com bubble was a period of rapid growth and speculation in the technology industry. It was a time of great excitement and optimism as investors poured billions of dollars into internet-based companies hoping to cash in on the next big thing. But as we saw, the dot-com bubble was not without its pitfalls. The crash wiped out billions of dollars in wealth and led to a recession that lasted for several years. But the dot-com bubble also provided valuable lessons for investors and entrepreneurs alike. It showed the importance of having a clear business model and a path to profitability, staying focused on the customer and practicing due diligence and careful investing. Today, the technology industry is stronger than ever. Companies like Amazon, Google, and Facebook continue to dominate the market, while new technologies like artificial intelligence and blockchain are poised to revolutionize the way we live and work. As we look to the future, it's clear that the impact of the dot-com bubble will continue to be felt for years to come. But with new breakthroughs and innovations on the horizon, the technology industry is poised for even greater growth and transformation in the years ahead. Thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this look back at the dot-com bubble and its impact on the technology industry.